friends. Welcome back. My name's Ramon. How are you today? So continuing on in the saga of trying more Korean and Japanese sunscreen, today we're talking about, I think, arguably one of the largest players in the Korean beauty space, and that is Misha. Now Misha's got a lot of sunscreens under their belt, so much so that I actually get confused with all of them because they have very similar names. And today we have three of them, specifically from their All Around Safe line. I have their All Around Safe Essence, their All Around Safe Daily Sun, and their All Around Safe Sun Gel. I've tested all of them, played around with all of them, and I'm pretty familiar with my thoughts on all of them, so we're going to talk about all of them today. But before we get into it, I'm gonna ask that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and down below in the comments section, tell me, have you used these? What are your thoughts on them? What are your other favorite Misha sunscreens? Sound off. Also, I wanna say a huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. I bought these sunscreens as part of a really huge Yes Sell order. Thanks to your contributions over there, so thank you so much. Make sure if you haven't checked it out, go in the description box, hit the link to my Patreon. If you are able to and it's within your means, please consider donating just because I pretty much fund all of my sunscreen reviews on this channel. A lot of brands aren't brave enough to just send me their product to try out considering you know the level of testing I do with their products. So I have to buy all of them with my own coin. It's a lot of coin to review all the sunscreens I get requests for. So again, if you're able to, consider donating. So a couple things, a couple notes before we get into it. First and foremost, I do wanna say, if you wanna see these sunscreens specifically applied on a much deeper skin tone, a creator named Tamno Abby has an review specifically on these three sunscreens where she's applied them, discussed her feelings and thoughts on each of them. So you get to see each of these applied on a much richer skin tone than mine. Go check out her content. It's going to be down in my description box. She tries out these same exact ones. But also I had a comment on my Patreon when I was discussing what sunscreens to review where someone mentioned that specifically the all around safe sun gel was getting discontinued and going back and looking for these on YesStyle, they actually are not available on YesStyle and they're hard to find on other retailers. So as of right now, I do not know if these are discontinued. I do know you can still get these on Stylevana though. So just note that. I will have links if I can find them by the time this goes live in the description box for retailers, but I don't know what's going on with those. Also, before I get into it, I do know that there's two other sunscreens to this all around safe sun line. I haven't tried those yet. I didn't even hear about them until I was researching for this video. So I have the three in front of me that I'm gonna talk about, pink, blue, and yellow. There's also an orange and I think a red one. I'm not entirely sure. So getting into it, I'm gonna be talking about the Misha All Around Safe Essence Sun. This is the pink version in the line. And I will say for all of these, the reason they're called All Around Safe is the fact that Misha specifically put these under skin irritancy tests and it was under a clinical dermatology place in Korea. All of them came back with very safe irritancy testing results. They are allegedly intended for more sensitive skin types. That being said, A, I think that might be a little bit of a reach, but I'll explain that as I get into each one. But also skin is subjective. Everyone's skin reacts differently to different things. I have very resilient skin, but even so I can react to some things that are very random that other people might not. So just notice because these technically say they're for sensitive skin, you might not be. And just because you might have sensitive skin doesn't mean these might not work for you. Skin is subjective. Also another component that all of these have in the All Around Safe line is a special complex called Oriental Tea Nuplex, which is just like an herbal botanical combination of ingredients intended to soothe the skin and add some antioxidant benefits, as well as relief water and glacial water, which I'm not entirely sure what those are all about, but they're intended to, again, just, I guess, soothe the skin, hydrate the skin. And there's also cornflower water, which is essentially the like extraction water from a specific botanical flower that is intended to soothe the skin as well. So that's in all of these. That's another thing that's part of their all around safe sun is that you have some anti-inflammatory ingredients as well. These all do feature fragrance and they all feature alcohol. So this is the Misha All Around Safe Sun Essence, the pink one in the line. This was a first time for me trying it. There's actually one of the sunscreens in this lineup that I've tried before and is low-key kind of a holy grail. We'll get into that. This one specifically looking at the product claims, it's supposed to give you SPF 45 PA 3 plus protection, offering light non-sticky formulation that's refreshing on the skin. They say this contains apricot, lotus, chrysanthemums, and chamomile blossoms, which nourish the skin and add moisture, as well as tanaka extracts for a calming and cooling effect. This one specifically is waterproof and oil-free. Looking at the filters in this, you get octanoxate, octosal, and Solazole, Uvenol A+, and Tinosorb S. So you get Tinosorb S, broad spectrum, Uvenol A+, bumping up the UVA. The other filter is really bumping up UVB protection. And then some other things besides the more standard all through the line ingredients. You have green tea, purslane, you have licorice root extract, panthenol, cucumber. This one has witch hazel, which is interesting to note. And then it also has a bunch of other things like aloe, thyme, mugwort. All of these are very rich in botanical extracts. They're very long ingredients list, which goes to my point where I was talking about the whole sensitive skin claim. The more botanical extracts you put in a formula the more likelihood you have a potential irritancy for certain people just because people are allergic to random things. So that's just something to note. Talking about my experience with the sunscreen, again, it's my first time using this. I have used some of the Misha sunscreens before, but seeing more in this line, I was very interested. What I will say about this is it's a very nice lightweight gel texture, but it still has some nice emolliency to it. So it's a more moisturizing 
texture. I remember when I put it on, it was super lightweight, disappeared into my skin. It was really nice and it prepped my skin nicely for makeup, but I had a radiance to my skin. I felt it that it was moisturizing my face and I feel like if I were to compare it to anything, it kind of reminds me of like Crave Beauty Beat Shield. It's a very nice lightweight thin texture, but it's moisturizing. It has emolliency richness to it and you can see that on the face because it's a very radiant finish. To me, this is a little bit more of just like a lightweight version of that, but this does feel nice on the skin. It has a very nice fresh light scent to it and it preps the skin really nicely for makeup. I use this in place of moisturizer so I don't moisturize underneath this. That helps to downplay a little bit of the radiance and it helps make it a little bit more oily skin friendly. As I mentioned, makeup looks good on top of it, but more so this reapplies nicely on type of makeup. What I will say is the reapplication of this gives you a more radiant finish on top of your makeup just because again, it's a little bit more emollient. They claim this one specifically is for normal to more dry skin and because it's a little bit more moisturizing, I could agree with that, but I will say oily skin, use this as moisturizer, you're good. If you have more dry skin, definitely moisturize underneath this, but this is a really nice finish for it. I also wanna say, my skin was a little bit compromised around my eyelid area when I was testing this out. This did sting a little bit just on my eyelid where I did have some stinging from other skincare. It didn't sting anywhere else where I usually do get irritation if my skin is more compromised. So just note that. Again, this does witch hazel, this does have alcohol. So if you have more sensitive skin, I would be weary to try this out. Also, I dislike this one because it's more water resistant, more moisturizing, more radiant. Next is the combination sunscreen in the bunch. And this is the All Around Safe Daily Sun, the yellow one. Looking at the product claims, they say this is a lightweight sunscreen that provides a moisturizing finish while protecting the skin from UVA and UVB rays all day long refreshing texture that's non-sticky. It makes for a great makeup base. And they also claim this can be reapplied on top of makeup, which you know I do test out, so we're gonna talk about that. This is the one of the bunch that is not water resistant though. Looking at the filters, this has homosalate, octosalate, uvenol A+, Tinosorb S. I was confused for a minute just because I didn't see that it had titanium dioxide in it. They have it on the ingredients list as more of a colorant as opposed to a filter, but this does have titanium in it and that is important because talking about my experience, this has a nice lightweight texture to it. It feels silky, semi-powdery, velvety on the skin and it does leave a slight white cast. When I applied it the first day, I didn't know it was actually combination sunscreen because I didn't notice the titanium dioxide, so I applied it like I would a normal chemical sunscreen. I immediately saw a difference in texture because coming out of the bottle, this has like a whipped cream cheese look to it, if I were to compare it to anything. The minute I applied it to my face, I was like, A, this, has more white opacity to it, but also it took a lot of work, like a little bit more elbow grease to work it in. So I did a half face application because I realized right off the bat, oh, this is gonna be different. So you could see one side without sunscreen so that you could see what it looks like in comparison. I noticed a white cast, tell me what you see. And then I went on top with makeup, did the whole thing. It makeup applies okay. With reapplication though, I just, no. This is a mineral sunscreen. It has a white cast on me. This would really affect makeup, pick it up. It'd look weird. I didn't, know Because I realized with day one, this isn't what I thought it was and I didn't prep my skin properly for it. In order to give it a fair chance, the second day I did this, I just wanted to see it on bare skin, reapplying this on top of itself. I prepped my skin a little bit better with a more emollient base. Went on top, it worked in a little bit better, but I mean, you can see on the screen what it looks like. With the reapplication, that was a huge no. The white cast was even more pronounced. It didn't look nice in my facial hair, my hairline, my eyebrows, my mustache. I was not a fan of this. So real talk, what I will say about this sunscreen. Is it lightweight? Yes. To me, this leaves a more powdery matte finish. And so if you have oily skin and you're really fair or you do not mind a white cast or tone up, this is a good option. I don't think the white cast showed through with makeup so much. So I'm not too worried about wearing makeup on top of it, but it's just not my favorite texture. I don't like sunscreens like this, just. So next is the last one. This is the Misha All Around Safe Sun Aqua Sun Gel, the blue one in the line. And this is the one I've actually used before. I purchased a few bottles of this a couple years back when I was testing out sunscreens. I confused this for a different Misha sunscreen that I'll have already appear on screen, which is also Holy Grail. But they had really similar names and I think they both popped up in the search window. And I was like, oh, maybe this is just like a new version, different packaging. So I bought this, loved it. And I used it on and off over the last few years, but this has been in my routine before. I enjoy it, so I was really happy to get it back. Talking about the claims for this, they claim it's an SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses, and it's a lightweight, non-sticky gel formulation that feels refreshing on the skin. It contains all the waters and the Tanaka extracts like the pink one does, and this one specifically is intended to moisturize, but also reduce blemishes on the skin. They also say this one is water and sweat resistance. Looking at the filters for this, you have octocrylene, avobenzone, tinosorb S, amyloxate, octosalate, and homosalate. 
And so you're getting really nice protection across the whole spectrum. I love seeing that octocrylene. And then looking at the formulation, this one's a little bit more simple than the other two. This one does have alcohol and fragrance like the other two I just mentioned. It also has arrowroot and thyme, some more of those like herbal extracts that it involves. My experience with this, again, I've used this before. I enjoyed it heavily and it's something that's come back into my routine sporadically. The texture of this, super, super lightweight, disappears into the skin almost instantly. And you're left with a very natural, just like, semi matte finish like it's like it controls oil production in my opinion but because it sets on the skin and leaves absolutely like no trace of it being on your skin makeup applies beautifully on top of it it's a really great canvas for makeup the more so because it's that nice really really lightweight gel texture that just disappears almost instantly you can reapply this on top of makeup by like patting it in really lightly and it sets down almost instantly your makeup is unfazed untouched unbothered and it has a really nice finish if anything to me it gives you again with a more natural to semi matte finish even with we application on top of makeup. If I were to compare this to anything, this reminds me a lot of the Biore Athleism and the Eustern one I just reviewed on my European Wind sunscreen, just because it has that nice lightweight texture that's really, really nice for oily skin. This is a staple for summer. And if I were to say anything, I would say the blue one and the pink one are kind of like sisters, especially for more oily skin. The pink one specifically more winter friendly because again, a little bit more moisturizing. The blue one specifically, it's a little bit more oil controlling, a lot more lightweight. So this is definitely a more summer friendly option. Definitely love this one. And so with that, that was my review of the Misha All Around Safe Sun Sunscreens, at least the three that I have on hand. If you want reviews of the other ones, let me know. I might be able to get my hands on them. I think they're still available on Stylevana. Might be useful to you, so let me know. Calling out clear winners. For me, for sure the blue one, just because again, I've used it before. It's been in and out of my routine very frequently over the last few years because I do enjoy it a lot. But also the pink one, because this was a different experience. It was a new discovery for me that I didn't hate and it honestly had a lot of wins going for it. So I think playing around with it a little bit more, really figuring out where it fits in my routine is gonna be really important. The ingredients in this are nice for my specific skin type. I do like a lot of them. If you have more sensitive skin, these do say they're intended for sensitive skin, but I can't make that claim and stand behind that 100% just because skin is so unique and these ingredient lists have a lot going on. So again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and Fenty related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and down below in the comments, again, have you tried either of these three sunscreens I'm talking about? Have you tried the other ones in the All Around Safe Sun line or any other Misha sunscreens? Sound off down below. Don't forget to check out the link to my Patreon in the description box. Again, I would really, really appreciate you considering supporting and donating if you are able to. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.